Okay, we're going to continue looking at simplifying these complex fractions. And again, we're using the second method, which is to find the LCD of all fractions within the complex fraction, then multiply both the numerator and denominator of the complex fraction by the LCD. Okay, so what would the LCD be for this problem right here? We have 3 over x minus 1 plus 6 over x plus 2, then over 6 over x plus 2 minus 3 over x minus 3. So the LCD, well if I look at the denominators involved, let me just kind of highlight all of them. I got an x minus 1, I got an x plus 2, I've got another x plus 2, and then I've got an x minus 3. So everything has to go in there, it's just I need to realize I have a duplicate x plus 2, so I only need to put one of those in there. So I'll need x minus 1 times x plus 2, I'm only going to put one of those in there, then times x minus 3. So that is my LCD, and that guy's pretty long there. Now what I want to do is I want to multiply this by the numerator of the complex fraction, so by basically this part right here, and by the denominator of the complex fraction, so that part right there. So let's kind of do that. I'm just going to kind of draw an arrow down here. And I'm going to do them separately. I'm going to start with the numerator. So 3 over x minus 1. 3 over x minus 1. And then plus 6 over x plus 2. And we want to multiply this guy, this LCD, so x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 3. So what are we going to get here? Well, we're going to use our distributive property, and we're going to multiply this by this guy first. And you can see that the x minus 1 would cancel there. And what you'd be left with is you'd have a 3 times this x plus 2 times x minus 3. Now I'm going to go ahead and just foil this out and then multiply it by 3. So x times x is x squared. I'm just going to write this underneath here. x squared. Then if I think about the outer and the inner, you'll have negative 3x and plus 2x, so that'll be minus x. And then the last will be minus 6. Okay, so we're going to have 3 times this. And what's that going to give me? It's going to give me 3x squared minus 3x minus 18. Okay, so I'm going to kind of erase this right here. Now we're going to use the distributive property and multiply this guy right here by 6 over x plus 2. So what is that going to give us? Well, the x plus 2 is going to cancel here and here. And what I'm going to have is 6 times x minus 1 times x minus 3. So if I kind of use my FOIL and then multiply that by 6, x times x is x squared. Then my outer and inner, I'm going to have negative x and negative 3x, so that's going to combine to be negative 4x. Then my last will be plus 3. Okay, and again, I'll multiply 6 times every term inside the parentheses here, so plus 6x squared, then minus 24x, then plus 18. So if I combine like terms here, what am I going to get? Well, I got a 3x squared and a 6x squared, so that's 9x squared. I've got a negative 3x and I've got a negative 24x, that's going to be negative 27x. And then I've got a negative 18 and a plus 18. And that's going to combine to be 0. So I end up with 9x squared minus 27x. Now this can be factored, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it alone for right now. And I'm going to come down here and just write, basically, this right here, after you multiply it by the LCD, becomes what? It becomes this right here, 9x squared minus 27x. So that's my new numerator for the rational expression that I'm forming. So 9x squared minus 27x. And I'm going to go back up and I'm going to erase everything so that I have some room. Okay, so now we're going to work on this denominator here, which is 6 over x plus 2 minus 3 over 
x minus 3, we're multiplying it by this LCD here. So again, we're going to do that over here. So x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x minus 3. And then we'll have 6 over x plus 2. Minus 3 over x minus 3. So use my distributive property again. In the first case, the x plus 2 is going to cancel. So x plus 2 cancels here with the x plus 2 here. And I'm going to be left with a 6 times x minus 1 times x minus 3. Then minus, I'll have this guy over here x minus 1, let me just kind of erase that real quick, times x plus 2 times x minus 3 times this 3 over x minus 3. The x minus 3 is going to cancel with the x minus 3. And what I'm going to have is a 3 times x minus 1 times x plus 2. Let me go ahead and do my further simplification here. So x times x is x squared. Then my outer and inner is going to end up being negative 4x. And then negative 1 times negative 3 is going to be plus 3. And if I just kind of continue this down here, this will be 6x squared minus 24x plus 18. So over here, if I think about x times x, that's x squared. So then my outer would be 2x, my inner would be negative x. So if I combine those, I'll have plus x. And then my final would be negative 2. Okay, then minus. And really what I'm going to do is just, so I don't get the signs messed up, put plus, and I'll put plus here, negative 3. So negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times x is going to be minus 3x. And then negative 3 times negative 2 is going to be plus 6. Now we just combine like terms. 6x squared minus 3x squared is 3x squared. Negative 24x minus 3x is negative 27x. Then we have 18 plus 6, and that's going to be plus 24. Okay, so that's going to be my denominator. So I'm going to write that underneath here. So 3x squared minus 27x. 3x squared minus 27x and then plus 24, okay? So now the only thing we have left is to reduce this to its lowest terms. You can see how tedious this process is sometimes. So basically, if I think about the numerator here, what can I do? Well, I have 9x squared minus 27x. The first thing I think about is, is this the difference of two squares? Well, no, it's not. And then the next thing I kind of think about is, well, what can I pull out then? Well, I know I can pull out a 9x here, so let's write 9x times, we have x minus a 3. And then if I look at this one here, I know that before I even start to try to factor that, I can pull out a 3. So if I look at this, I can pull out a 3, and I'd have x squared minus 9x plus 8. And then this is easy to factor from here. If I think about this, what do we have that would multiply out to be 8, but sum to negative 9? So if you think about it, you could do negative 8 and negative 1. So we could do x minus 1 times x minus 8. So then up here, this will be 3 times x minus 1 times x minus 8. Okay, so I can erase all this now. All right, so what can we cancel now? We don't have any common binomial factors, but we can go ahead and cancel this 9 with this 3, and that'll leave a 3 here. It looks like that's all we can do. And sometimes you go through a lot of work for just one thing to cancel, but you got to do it anyway. So we'll end up with 3x times x minus 3, and then over x minus 1 times x minus 8. So this would be your final answer. And of course, if you want to, you can go through and multiply all this stuff out doesn't really matter. This answer right here is perfectly acceptable for a test. And so that is our final answer.